saved by McKevin. Kevin, how are you? Nice to see you. Oh, shut up, Dave. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple. Karma. It's a force in the universe that many people believe in for one reason or another. Not the least of which is that when it comes right down to it, we want to believe that something good will happen if we do good or something bad will happen to someone who does evil. And while at times it doesn't always seem to work out, other times it definitely does. And it can be a famous celebrity, or it can be a random person who just does something bad and gets their comeuppance. Allow us to show you satisfying times karma came for awful people. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Number 10, Ellen DeGeneres. Let's start off with some karmic retribution that is still ongoing but it's working out well for some. Ellen DeGeneres is someone who, for well over 17 years, has painted herself as the be kind lady, whether she wants to admit it or not. She has broadcasted the message of be kind all over the place and even made it the focal point of her personal brand. So imagine the shock and surprise when many found out that Ellen wasn't that kind of person. In fact, she was kind of a jerk. Yeah, it happened. What's more, it apparently happened a lot over the years. So much so that people came forward in a massive expose about it and rocked the show to its core. There were allegations of brutal working conditions, racist and misogynistic behavior by executive producers, and so on and so forth. Eventually, after months of brutal testimony, the executive producers were fired. Ellen was forced to make multiple apologies and major changes had to be made to the show. Ellen didn't get as much karmic vengeance as she deserved, but her ratings aren't doing too well and many aren't supporting her anymore. So that's something. Number 9. The Bullet Now let's tell you a tale that we promise happened and is just as mind-boggling as it sounds. Texas Henry Zieglin broke his fiancée's heart by calling off their engagement, and she was so distraught by the act that she committed suicide. Not a good thing. But that's just the beginning of the tale. Her brother, overcome by vengeance-fueled fury, made his way onto Henry's land and shot him, before using the second round in the chamber on himself. Little did he know, the first bullet had merely grazed the side of Henry's head, shooting off into the woodland behind him. End of story? Not so much. Fast forward 20 years, and Henry was working on his land to try and remove some trees. But it wasn't going as planned. One was resisting him mightily, so he blew it up with TNT and watched it as it detonated. This was a big mistake, as the bullet that was still in the tree launched out at high speeds and killed him. So in a way, the brother didn't miss, it just took a while to hit the target. Number 8. Kevin Spacey There are many actors in Hollywood history who are no doubt really good at what they do, and one of them for a time was Kevin Spacey. He had done various roles over the course of his career, including being legendary in things like The Usual Suspects and House of Cards. However, during his greatest peak came his greatest downfall, because rumors started to spread about him abusing young men in various ways that we really don't want to talk about. Anyway, as the stories and evidence mounted, Kevin Spacey was basically cast out of Hollywood. Anything that was associated with him, show or film-wise, was recast or they killed off his character, which happened in House of Cards. The public rage for what he did was so grand that the last movie of his that he made only made hundreds of dollars at the box office, and you'll likely never hear of him again until something equally bad happens to him. Number 7. Cowboy Justice There's old sayings that you shouldn't mess with a cowboy, and to be honest, we're glad we're not the fool who tried to rob a store where a cowboy was inside. You see, a robber decided to try and rob a store and pointed the gun right at the cowboy, who knew that something had to be done and even lowered his items to strike when the time came. His moment arose when a nearby customer, oblivious to what was going on, came into view and the robber turned to get her in line. The cowboy struck and took him down. When other store employees noticed this, they rushed to get help, getting the gun away from the robber and even taking him down when he tried to flee. Planning out your robbery is supposed to be part of the deal, 
but this likely isn't what he was expecting. Number six, Roseanne Barr. Look, we're gonna be honest here. When it comes to Roseanne Barr, you kind of knew she was always a mean person. Whether it came to her acting or terrible singing or how she held herself in public, you just knew that she was one step away from going to the Hollywood drain. And not unlike our last celebrity, her fall came at the peak of her career. Because during her massively popular revisal of Roseanne on ABC, which drew in 17 million viewers on its first episode, she went and made a racist tweet against a senator that got everyone's attention. And we really do mean everyone. It was so blatantly racist that people were quitting the show and refusing to work with Roseanne. ABC eventually would fire Roseanne, cancel the show, and rebrand it as The Connors, with Roseanne's character dying off so she couldn't return. It has been going strong on ABC, with Roseanne still fuming that no one stood up for her. Well, that's what happens when you make a racist tweet. Number 5. Rock the Vote with the current election no doubt going to cause controversy, let's talk about another karmic election that had everyone gasping. You see, in 1887, some men were furious about the women's rights movement and their desire to run for office. So in a fit of brilliance, they went and nominated a woman for mayor in a Kansas town. Her name? Susanna Salter. The joke was that no one would vote for her and thus it would prove women wouldn't ever be in office. Except because Susanna Salter was an activist and had inspired many, she won 60% of the vote. Thus, she became the first female mayor in United States history. See, voting matters. Number 4. Lance Armstrong Lance Armstrong is living proof why cheaters don't win in the long term. At one point in time, Lance Armstrong was one of the best athletes in the world. He won six Tour de France's and was a megastar who not only won in sports, but beat cancer. But he was accused multiple times of doping. Yet he denied that this was true and he fought very hard to keep his image. However, eventually, he was caught, proven guilty, and stripped of all his titles and awards. He was even kicked out of his own cancer-fighting foundation because the scandal was too great. Though Lance has remained relevant in his own way, it's not even close to all that he was at at his peak. A common theme, no? Number 3. Stay in your lane This one is funny because we've all been in situations where we want someone to go down for a driving dunce move, and it just doesn't happen. Well, in this case, it does. This guy decides to start driving in the parking lane because he doesn't like how busy the other lanes are. Unfortunately for him, while at a red light, still at the parking lane, the cop comes and gets him. And after he gets caught, he goes into a rage about how he didn't do anything. Right, moron. Number 2. Bill Clinton This one should be rather self-explanatory, don't you think? Bill Clinton was once President of the United States, and then he had an affair with an intern that would change both of their lives forever. For Bill Clinton, he would get impeached because he lied on the record, and even beyond that, he was made into a laughingstock because of his cheating ways. His stench, if you will, persists to this day, and it's still referred in regards of how a president should not act. And sadly, Bill proved time and time again that this wasn't a lapse in judgment. It was just who he was. Number 1. He Ain't Getting the Job For Matt Buckland, it was just another day as he prepared to go to the office and do his job. What was his job? Candidate recruiter. A very basic thing if we're being honest here. What makes this particular day so karmic though, was that on the train to his job, he was knocked away by a man who told him to get the F off, to put it nicely. But Matt being the bigger man, didn't say anything and moved on with his day. That is, until one of the people being interviewed by him that day was the very same man who told him to F off. Only this time, he was smiling and acting politely. He knew better though, and that man didn't get anything but karma. So, what do you think? What do you think of these times when bad people got their comeuppance and things just went against them in a big way? Which of these examples did you enjoy hearing about the most? Which ones do you feel were just as ironic or hilarious as they were karmic? Do you know of another tale of karmic retribution that should be on this list? Let us know in the comments below. 
Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel. Just a reminder about our new giveaway. We're giving away the new iPad Pro or the new iMac Pro. The choice is yours. All you have to do is watch the full video, leave a like, comment the keyword hidden in the video, and make sure you're subscribed. It's that simple.